Hey guys, what's up? It's Danielle. So welcome back to my channel. You can probably see the little cat toy in the corner there. But today I'm going to show you guys my home management binder. And I'm also going to show you like all the little odds and ends that I have. So I keep all this stuff in this basket. And that way I can just kind of like move it around my apartment, you know, to wherever I want or wherever I want to work for that specific time. And I like it because I can just throw everything back in here and then that way I just have to put the basket away. I don't have to put away these things individually. So the first thing that I have in here is my absolute favorite thing in the world, which is my label maker. It's the Brother P-Touch. This is like the old version. This is from... I want to say 2014, 2015, around there. So it's kind of old, but still works. Works really well. In here, this is an Eagle Creek packet cube. I have the AC adapter for it. It also, you know, you can use batteries with it, but I prefer the AC adapter. And then I have the different little label tapes in there as well. And I like that because then, you know, if I want a different type of label, I can just pick out what I need and then put the cartridge in. The other thing is it's nice because I can just take this out of the basket and then just, you know, go wherever I need to to finish a project. I have this little Tupperware thing, which has a couple of different, well, a lot of different post-its. These large pink ones in the back are primarily what I use for my grocery lists. And then I have a little tape dispenser, some extra staples, and I also have a little mini stapler. All right. I also have this pen cup. The only thing that I don't have in here right now are my wet erase markers because I keep forgetting to move them over. But I always have a pair of scissors. Technically, I have a pair of scissors in every room in my apartment because I just always find that I need them. I have a chalk marker. This one stays specifically with all this stuff. I have another one that is specifically just for the kitchen because I use it to write on the plastic Tupperware things that I only use for like produce. I have a couple of different pens and I also have some dry erase markers because I like to sometimes meal plan using the little dry erase boards on my refrigerator. I also have a Sharpie. So just little odds and ends kind of, but they all serve their own purpose. And then we get into the actual binder. So this is one of those better binders by Staples and honestly this is what I've like been using for years at this point basically since high school and I would have gone with like black or something along those lines but I kind of wanted it to be like a like a happy color I also wanted it to kind of stand out so that you know I would actually remember to like go in here and do all the things I'm supposed to so this is what it looks like when you first open it and I'm trying to hide all that <laughs> but I have some security envelopes and I also have some of these blank note cards that come with envelopes so these are perfect because I can use them for thank you cards or what have you you know sometimes you just need a blank card so I don't know I think it's it's good to have the blank ones because then you don't need to have like different ones for different occasions. I also have my backup car keys in here. So this is like the actual car key. And then I also have the valet key. I also have these, you know, the store card key fob things. And those are just extras. I tend to keep ones from places that I've lived before. Like I still have ones for grocery stores in Texas and Ohio and I did that on purpose because <laughs> I 
tend to go to Ohio, not a lot, but when I do, it's nice to just have that kind of stuff, you know, in case when I'm there, I'm running to the store for my mom or I want to get gas and I want to save a few cents. And same thing with like, you know, the ones in Texas. And I do plan on someday returning to Houston. So that's another reason. All right, moving on to the actual fun part of the binder. I bought these pocket dividers and they had little tabs, but you can still see some of the color on there. So I actually went ahead and ripped off all the tabs. They come off pretty nicely. They're just the Avery ones. And I put some of the pink post-its that I use most often in here just so that I don't have to, you know, run back and forth if I leave the basket somewhere. And then this just kind of serves as like a little catch-all for whatever I need it to be. This first section is for meal planning. So I have this filler paper, which is just graph paper. This is primarily what I like to use. I'll just put all my ideas on here. And sometimes it does take an entire page. All right. In this section, I have my meal planning schedule, which I actually have something happening in my life that is requiring me to rearrange all my schedules. So I had to come up with new ones and I've actually never had a meal planning schedule. So this is all new to me, but this is my first week doing it and so far so good. All right, these are lists of recipes. If you guys are familiar with Jamaril Stewart from Large Family Table, she comes out with freezer cooking meals. And these are like the packs that she has that you can buy from her website. So last year I bought packs one through nine, which is everything that she has available right now. And I couldn't remember which ones had which recipes. So I just typed them all out and put them all in here. And that way, when I'm meal planning, I can just kind of look through here and just kind of pick out what I want to make. And then all I have to worry about are ingredients. This is everything that I have in my reserve pantry. And I've already done a video on that. It was a couple weeks back. If you're interested, you can go look that up. But I absolutely love it to death. And I don't know why I didn't do it sooner, but... Anyways, this is obviously subject to change, you know, someday when I get married, have kids, whatever, wherever life will take me. All right, this next section is for cleaning and organization. So I have this list of daily upkeep stuff and I got this off of a website and it claims that this is how you keep your house clutter free and organized at all times. I don't know if that's true, but... I'm working on it, so we'll find out. All right, these are daily tasks, which if you watched my planner update video that I just posted last week, this should look familiar. This should also look familiar. These are just my weekly tasks broken down into days of the week. In here, I have my laundry schedule, which I also had to redo. And then I have regular monthly tasks, and then I have ones that are specific to the kitchen. This is my monthly cleaning schedule, so this is kind of like a combination of the note card system and the zone cleaning system from Fly Lady. And then all of these pages pretty much are just from A Bowl Full of Lemons. It's her home organization challenge that she has every year. And if you're curious, you can go look that up on her blog. These pages are just for kind of like troubleshooting, I guess, for my label maker. I'm still learning. I've had that thing for almost six years and I'm still learning. All right. In this zip pocket, I would have cash in here, but I just haven't had a chance to put any in there yet. So probably I'm thinking like $200 maybe is what I would put in here, just in various denominations. And then that would be for, you know, maybe I just need cash for something that day or, you know, 
Maybe I need it for a gift that I'm giving to somebody. Another scenario would be maybe I just don't like have a chance to go to the ATM, but I have to buy groceries that day. You know, you never know. Or if I'm like ordering pizza or what have you, which I haven't done that in a while, but all right. This one is just for shopping lists. So in here right now, I just have my Sam's Club list. I only go there once a month and I try to only buy things that I know will last me the whole month. So yeah, that's, that's about it. I haven't made my regular grocery list yet. Otherwise, it would also be in here. All right. This one is going to be specifically for doctor information. I have been going to a lot of different doctor's appointments this year. And it's kind of difficult for me to remember like where I'm going and who I'm seeing because there's so many. So I'm going to put that information in here and that's definitely going to help. All right. This zip pocket has cards. So these are cards that I need to send out. I just took out the two for Mother's Day for my mom today because I'm actually going to mail all her stuff today. And then my brother's birthday is coming up towards the end of the month. So I'll take this out, you know, put the stamps on it and mail it, which brings me to the next one. This zip pocket just has stamps in it. And the very last thing I have in here, just my Wi-Fi password. And that is everything. So I hope this gave you guys some inspiration. You know, maybe if you were thinking of trying to get a little bit more organized. I did do this a couple years ago, but I don't know. I think <laughs> I think things were just so different for me back then. I didn't really have my head on straight and it also like I also didn't have my own place. So that, you know, really didn't help, but now that I do have my own place and I did more research and all that jazz. I am happy to say that I love how this turned out. And I actually have been using it quite a bit. So anyways, let me know if you guys already have one of these binders, what you have in yours, like the categories or, you know, just whatever. But also, I want to know if you guys are doing okay. I will admit I just went through a really bad depressive episode and I'm just now coming out of it. So yeah, let me know how you guys are doing in the comments below. If you need somebody to talk to, you can DM me on Instagram. But anyways, please take care of yourselves, you guys, and check up on the people you care about. And hopefully we will be kind of out of all this crap soon. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.